Last time on William Weiser's Childhood Fears, William talked about a recent car accident that scared him. Now, he is moving on from that to do another favorites list. What list is it? Let's find out. And now, here is the man who's going to talk about his childhood fears, William Weiser. Hi everyone, William Weiser is here, and welcome to William Weiser's Childhood Fears. Announcer, take it away. Ask your video dealer about all of the exciting volumes of the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh. For those of you who are wondering what that was about, the reason why we're here today is because I thought this would be appropriate for 1010, my top 10 favorite new adventures of Winnie the Pooh volumes. In the late 2000s, I was a huge fan of the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh, so much so that I wanted to see every episode of that show's 81 episode run. Well, before my birthday, I got the complete series on seven discs and i have them all they're still here but before that though i saw some collector's item winnie the pooh tapes that are about friendship playtime and learning but little did i know that there are canadian copies of these tapes called the new adventures of winnie the pooh which is the name of the show 10 of these videos were released and that's why i'm counting them down all of them have 32 episodes in all 10 of those videos. 32 out of 81. Less than half, but it's all for what they could do. Some of these uh, some of these episodes were released on collector's item videos, and some never were. So today, we're counting down my top 10 favorite new adventures of Way the Pool volumes. And once again, I normally do a top 13 list, but... It didn't make it that far, so let's do what we can with it. These are my top 10 favorite new adventures of Winnie the Pooh volumes. Number 10. Volume 6, All's Well That Ends Well. Everybody knew that I was going to put this so low on here because on the day that I got this tape, I was so excited to watch it just on the front. And then, when I looked at the back, if you've seen my very first episode of Childhood Fears on this channel, and me talking about this in my top 13 Not My Cup of Tea videos, and the fact that I did things wrong with this VHS early last year, you knew that things went downhill with this tape. All's Well That Ends Wishing Well is the only good thing about this tape and since then, Bubble Trouble and Where Where's My Piglet Gone has not been capturing the magic of that. It's not just that. The the picture of Pooh Bear stuck in the bubble creeped me out. Where Where Where's My Piglet Gone was the last episode on this tape, while in Clever Little Piglet is the first episode on that. And that was my first time with that experience. Uh, I didn't like Rabbit in any of the episodes. I didn't like Rabbit in any of the episodes on here, minus All's Well That Ends Wishing Well. The ending for Bubble Trouble was just weird. And, oh uh, yeah, the end credits music. In April of 2021, I did my version of the end credits to the three episodes there on that tape, and they all worked out very well for me, except for the fact that, as many people noticed, if you have a great day of discovery on DVD like I do, All's Well That Ends Wishing Wells on the DVD, and the music that I care for the most is the music that's played in the end credits. I forgot about that until I, it came to me immediately, and I put it in before I put it in the description and uploaded it that way. But, before this, I saw All's Well That Ends Wishing Well on the Tigerific Tales VHS, and I like it better in there. But, that, 
all's well that all's well that ends wishing well is the only positive I can give with this tape and nothing else worked for me. All's well that ends well. I wish that all's well that ends wishing well was the only episode on this tape and it had the right music for it to be much better than what we were given. Number nine. Volume 7, King of the Beasties. This was my very first New Adventures in Wayne the Pooh volume that I saw, and the only one that I ever checked out of a library. The rest, I either bought them from Half Price Books or purchased them online from eBay. And uh, before I saw this tape, I saw four out of five Playtime videos. They were Happy Pooh Day. T uh, Detective Tigger, uh, Pooh Party, and Cowboy Pooh. So, I didn't know what the episodes on fun and games were. So, because King of the Beasties looked like a playtime episode to me, I thought that King of the Beasties would be on the fun and games VHS. But, nope, it wasn't on there. Is one of the it is one of those episodes that was never released on a collector's item VHS. The episodes on that tape were What's the Score Poo, Prize Piglet, and Piglet's Poetry, which is my favorite episode on that tape, Piglet's Poetry. However, King of the Beasties was released on a 10-year anniversary Tigger movie DVD as one of the two Tigger episodes that are on that. The other one, which I have on a learning VHS, Making Friends, is Tigger's House Guest but with a different pitch being played in that. And, um, oh, the other episodes on here are Tigger's Shoes, which, fun fact, that's the only learning survivor to be on any of these volumes. It's the only episode on a learning VHS to be in here. Up, Up, and Awry from Imagine the Christopher Robin and Luck Amuck. Another one from Tiggerific Tales. Um, I say this one is slightly better than All's Well That Ends Well, but the remaining eight volumes in here I had more fun with. And so, yeah. King of the Beasties. If you will... <clears throat> yeah. King of the Beasties. If you really think you're the king of these volumes, well then, you just got dethroned by the remaining eight volumes. And speaking of the number eight. Number eight. Newfound Friends. The only New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh volume to not have a VHS from a friendship volume. Or the only New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh volume to not have any friendship episodes on there. They're all new, and and all three of them were never released on a collector's item VHS. The episodes on here are Find Her, Keep Her, instead of Finders, Keepers, Donkey for a Day, my favorite one on here, and Friend Indeed, the earliest episode to be in these volumes. I was excited to watch this volume when I got it, and... There were things in here that I liked. Um, the bird, Kessie, makes her debut appearance in here. I saw her on A Bird in the Hand, which is not in any of these volumes. It was on uh, Pooh Party, a Playtime VHS. Um, I noticed that Eeyore's voice in Donkey for a Day was different compared to the others I saw in the show's run. And... Friend Indeed is the earliest one on here, as I said. And before that, I saw a fun fact that the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh continues with another exciting story bumper or interval. It's the same one that plays in the next one before, uh, <clears throat> before the last one on here. And the, the just bumper at the end is the same. So... Uh, that counts for excitement, right? And I love the ending in Donkey for a Day, which 
I found that out and I saw it in the Playtime intro. Newfound friends. I am friends with this VHS. Number 7. The Great Honeypot Robbery. This was the very first New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh volume. Oh yeah, uh, this was volume number 1 and Newfound Friends is volume number 3. For those who are wanting to know what number it was. So, this was the very first volume. And the only the only familiar episode that I came across on this tape is Stripes. So, and that's another one from Tiggerific Tales. I mentioned all three episodes from the Tiggerific Tales VHS in one part. And I liked that VHS more than All's Well That... I liked that VHS more than All's Well That Ends Wishing Well... King of the Beasties and this, which is which really stinks, but it, what can you do for uh for a fun VHS? This one was also fun and two mediocre once. So I knew going into this that I remember a lot of things about stripes. The other two on here, the Great Honeypot Robbery and Monkey See Monkey Do Better, are new. Ep were, were new episodes to me, and so I didn't know what to expect. From these, um, uh, mentioning a bird in the hand, Stan and Hef uh, make their debut appearance in the Great Honeypot Robbery, and in Monkey See Monkey Do Better, there's a monkey, a, a toy monkey named Bruno. The only thing about Bruno, the only part of Bruno that I kind of liked was, was uh, Pooh Bear winding him. To making him talk, even though that kind of messed things up. Uh, him bouncing and Tigger bouncing even higher, but to a way that uh, that makes it embarrassing. And Rabbit trying to test Bruno how he can garden. And Bruno says, you want gardening? I'll show you a gardener. Like that. And he, he does his best at gardening. Which causes the gang to move away. And Christopher Robin tells him that Bruno is actually a toy that he's giving to one of his human friends. It's not for him. So it, so, uh, so the animal friends can stay and, and, and Bruno gets put away. Oh yeah, here's another fun fact. If you look at the back of this volume, you can see Eeyore in there. For Monkey See Monkey Do Better. But when you actually watch the episode. He's not in it. The same thing happens with Pooh Wishes. And the Wishing Bear. He's not in the Wishing Bear. But he is in Stripes and Goodbye Mr. Pooh. Those are the only times. You, those are the only times that you actually see him on this tape. And Pooh Wishes as well. But still. The Great Honeypot Robbery. Is a very fun. Intense and exciting volume to watch. The Great Honeypot Robbery. I'm going to rob this VHS after I buy it and I have a fun time watching it.